With rudiments, we're always focused on what is the sticking, right? That's the important part. Like, what's the sticking for that? Is it right, left, right, right, left, left? The sticking's very, very important. But more important almost is the motions that you're going through while you're performing that rudiment. Don't be like me. Don't play your rudiments incorrectly for years and years and years by not focusing on the individual movements. Let me explain that. Uh, I like to isolate my hands whenever I'm playing a rudiment. I play one on the leg and I play one on the pad. And what that does is it allows me to see and hear the individual elements that each hand is playing. And then what I can do is I can, I can match that up to different techniques that I know and I can look at the overall, the, the overall arch of the motion that I should be performing. Let's take, uh, alternating flams. All right. So a flam, we have a grace note and then, and then a primary note. Alternate, right, left, right, left. Okay? So that's alternating flams. Whenever I first learned those, I was just sitting here just, okay, it's the flam, I'm like trying to get it like this. Not paying attention to any of the motion, that it's a downstroke and then a tap. But what we can do is, if I isolate that motion, if I'm just focused on that sticking, just performing the sticking, what I'm not doing is paying attention to the other elements that help me perform that rudiment better. You're not just going to perform the rudiment better by just repeating stickings over and over. What we need to do is dig into the motion. So I see that it is an accent followed by a tap in the right hand. Well, I can do that all down. This is doing that with all downstrokes, right? Downstroke, accent, and then a tap back up. So I'm doing everything. I'm picking up the stick every time. Or look at this motion. That motion would be that push-pull, right? So where we're dropping it, and naturally when I go up, there's naturally a hitch in my wrist and I can get a tap out of that. So when I'm playing alternating flams and I isolate, that's the motion. I'm not gonna go through all the rudiments, but I'm just gonna go through enough to show you. Let's, let's look at a, another set or example of rudiments that if you just learn one- Motion. You, it, it improves all of these rudiments. So we have what we would call a molar stroke three. So it's where you have the whipping motion followed by a rebound stroke followed by that upstroke where you're preparing for the next one. Right, very basic motion. What we can do is we can have a single stroke roll because that's alternating singles with an accent in there. It's just that motion over and over. Okay, so if I learn that motion and then I really try to put that into play, I can begin to look at other rudiments and go, okay, well, what rudiments is that used in? Well, we have a single stroke seven. That's gonna be this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four notes here, so it's almost like I'm two, three, and then again. So just trying to get better at just the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, that's not gonna do it. We have to get better at the motion. And if we get better at this, the rudiment naturally is going to get better. What other rudiments have three strokes in them like that in that same type of a manner? We could go with a triple stroke roll, right? That's the very obvious one. Now we could also go flam taps. So with flam taps, it's flam right, flam left. And in your mind, you go, that's a two-note rudiment, right? 
right? But if you listen to the sticking, listen to that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's this. So to get better at that, I gotta get better at that motion. That down, rebound, and then up. And if I get better with that motion, then what's gonna happen is naturally I'm gonna get better at that rudiment. Now, this one may uh, may blow up blow open some things for you. Paradiddle. For years, it was right trying to get better at my paradiddle that way. But when you analyze the motion, it's really the same motion as this. And Klaus Hessler helped me see this. Uh, I took a lesson from him a while back. And you're like, Stephen, that's a that's a totally different rhythm than a paradiddle. Well, if we take this, maintain that same motion, and we diddle that other one, not, not in time, we just kind of do a crush diddle. So it's not, it's really not an even paradiddle, but we're getting there. And then I start to even those out. It's the same motion. Right? So by doing that, I can begin to see that, oh, to work on my period at all, I don't just need to work on right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I need to work on that motion. Another one that we could look at is the single stroke four. Look at that, the same motion we were using for the flams. So if we get better at that motion, right, we're going to naturally get better at single stroke force. You have to look at, yes, the sticking, but also what are the motions that I'm performing that help me perform that rudiment successfully.